They're living on the edge. We've learned the PB fault line could cause an earthquake even stronger than the big Northridge quake. Brad Good joins us now with details. Brad? Mike, I can tell you, in the South Bay, seismologists have always focused on the Newport Inglewood fault that runs from Newport Beach all the way up into Inglewood. Now earthquake experts say the PV fault, which is to the west, is moving 10 times faster than the Newport Inglewood fault. The PV fault runs 65 miles from the Santa Monica Bay out here off the coast, right down underneath Palos Verdes and here into the LA Harbor and then down to Dana Point. A shaker along this fault could reach a magnitude of 7.4. Scientists studying the 582-acre expansion at the port of L.A. discovered how active the Palos Verdes Fault is by measuring how much the L.A. channel has shifted under the port. Well, the channel, which is 8,000 years old, has been uh, offset in those 8,000 years by about 80 feet, or about 24 meters. And this corresponds to a, an average slip rate on a yearly basis of about an eighth of an inch per year. Henye, who reviewed the report, says the fault is pushing the PV Peninsula right into the Santa Monica Bay. The Earth is moving like this, Los Angeles Basin moving southeastward, and the Palos Verdes Peninsula and the offshore are moving northwestward, so we have slippage in this way. Engineers in charge of the $600 million Port of L.A. expansion say the new information forced them to make some significant design changes. The crane itself has to be uh, strengthened. There has to be more steel and, and so forth uh, designed into the crane to be able to withstand those additional seismic forces. The port also moved docks that would have been grounded right over the fault. But the shock waves from this study don't end there. The study also raises serious concerns for existing structures. Example, the Vincent Thomas suspension bridge, which towers right over the fault line. Earthquake experts also say a big shaker along this fault would hit the communities down the hill from Palos Verdes the hardest. But like most quakes, nobody knows when the big one will hit. They do know it's a powerful fault. We do know, though, it's capable of uh, pretty good-sized earthquakes in the magnitude 6.5 to 7.4 range. And you have to remember that 6.7 magnitude was Northridge. So bottom line, if a big quake hits along the Palos Verdes fault line here, experts warn us to expect 15 feet of movement. That would cause significant damage up on the peninsula, but far more damage as the shock waves move from the epicenter through the South Bay. And back to you. All right. That is kind of unnerving, isn't it? It would be very unnerving yeah. if you lived right there. Certainly. And for the rest of us would feel it too, of course. Mm -hmm. Well, you never ever talk to a real weatherman about earthquake weather because there, there is no such no thing. No such right? thing. You'll